You both have conquered high school, college, adopting our sweet grandpa, puppy Pepper. You have managed to survive many, many, many apartment moves, successfully relocated across the country, two different states to chase your dreams, and all these things have been done happily together. You have what it takes. I think they call it the secret sauce. Please continue to put each other first. As you grow older, your dreams and passions continue to change, but your continued look to love and trust in one another will see anything through. Raising you was like building an airplane while flying it at the same time. There was no Google, no smartphones, thank God. <laughs> but we had a tribe of loving family and friends that were always willing to take the wheel. I'm not sure who raised who, but I think we did a pretty fabulous job. You're such a special, important woman to many in this room, but to me, you are my heart. Thank you for always doing your best in everything that you do so that I was allowed to do my best as a mom. You truly are the perfect daughter. Except for that one time you snuck out in the middle of the night and tied our dog to the park bench. But besides that, everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> During Hannah's sophomore year at McNeil High School, she played volleyball. One of the fun thing, things that the volleyball team would do was they would get spirit gifts for the football boys. A spirit gift was a $5 goodie bag they would exchange on, with the football players on game day to show their support and to wish each other good luck. Hannah and I would go to Walgreens the night before the game, every time, every week, grab a Gatorade, bag of chips, and a sweet treat, and she would wrap it up in a bag with an encouraging note for the next day. Well, a game, a few games into the season, while Hannah was grabbing her items, I realized that Hannah's little spirit gift had turned into a $30 full-blown present, including t-shirts, notes. And I looked at her and I asked, do you like this boy? And she smiled, a twinkle in her eye, and she said, that's all it took. And that boy was Pablo. Hannah, we really love you for who you are for many reasons, for how you are, for how transparent you are, how honest, how easy to read, but how you treat others and how you bring our families together. We love you for loving Pablo with everything you have and also for loving all the baggage that he comes with. To your parents, we want to say that you have done a wonderful job in, in, in raising a woman with so many deep values, which to us is the best thing that our son could ever found. Um, we also want to thank you for welcoming Pablo with all your hearts and so honestly uh, welcoming him into your lives. Hannah, um, while well, you've been in our lives for a few years now, today we officially welcome you as a suerte dota to the family. <laughs> For those of you, for those of you that do not know, that is a very select, a select group of women married to Mondragon men. I'm also so very proud and happy to become your third dad. <laughs> Part of that team. Pablo, um, as parents, our goal has always been to raise you as a loving, honest, independent, and sensitive person. And we are, we have a sense of accomplishment that there is no comparison. Having reached this goal, having seen you, uh, witness you, what you've done, what you, what you have become, we cannot be any happier. Um, more than anything, we love, respect, and trust you for the path you have chosen for yourself and especially but all the decisions you've made, especially your partner for life. <sighs> Since the day I met you, I knew that I had to find something special. 
you very quickly became my best friend and the person I needed by my side. It's been a very long journey. Laughs, arguments, adventures, apartments, restaurants, with lots of love sprinkled in between. And today, as we stand in front of our loved ones, I want to tell you one thing with all certainty. The magic hasn't worn off. As we take this wonderful new face of our life, I promise to be the best friend I can be. I promise to love you, cherish you, and support you through every challenge. I promise to cheer you on through the highs and lift you up through the lows. And most importantly, I promise to stay by your side until the end of time. As I sit here trying to come up with the perfect wedding vows, the perfect promises to make for our marriage, I am reminded of all the promises that you have made and kept over the last seven years that let me know that you are without doubt the man I was meant to spend the rest of my life with. You promised to keep me safe. I return this promise by promising to you that I will protect and guard your heart. I will love you unconditionally without failure until my last breath. I will cuddle you even though my love language is not physical touch. I will kiss you even when we fight. I will always talk it out before falling asleep. I will keep constant communication with you even when I want to kick you out of our house. I will be open and receptive to growing and to being the best part. You promised me life would get better when all my thoughts were flooded with anxieties of the future. You promised that I, if I held out hope and had faith in God and in you, that life would only get more beautiful. And since this promise was made, many of our dreams and aspirations have made their way to reality. I return this promise by promising to you that I will always support you. I will back you in any decision you make for the betterment of yourself your career, your mental and physical health, your family, and anything in between. I will be your number one cheerleader, just like I was when you were the star kicker of the Mighty Mavericks, <laughs> showing up to every game no matter the weather or the season. I will always be there to pick you up. In times of sickness, in times of stress and the unknown, in times where we question ourselves and in times of extreme loss, I will forever promise to be your sidekick in life and let you be the superhero that you are. You promised to love me for me when I thought I was not enough, when I gave myself grief for insecurities and perfections. You promised that I was imperfectly perfect and to never question my worth. I return this promise by promising you that I will love myself. I will treat myself with respect. I will give myself the same chances to make mistakes as you have and to learn from them as you have allowed me to. I will love myself so that I love you the best way that I can. I will continually put God, you, and myself first because in keeping this promise, I can be the best wife to you, the best friend to you, the best partner to you, and the best version of myself for you. I want to endure all the happiness, the joy, the sadness, the regret, the fear that life throws at us alongside you for the rest of my life. And lastly, I promise to you for all eternity, or to love you for all eternity, I do not believe that death departs us. I believe our souls were made for each other. They will live on even after we are no longer here. I promise all these things, and I love you with my entire being now and forever. <laughs> I love you. His commitment, love, and devotion for Hannah is something that's always remained constant. Um, as Hannah mentioned in her vows, Pablo's had probably five or six different cars. He's had literally, they've lived in across three different states. He's had multiple jobs. He's had countless cameras, but, <laughs> and I'm serious, but he's always had one person by his side, and that was Hannah. 
because I know their love and devotion for one another. They've been through a lot of challenges, but no matter what it is, they always stick together because they're meant to be together. And so I know as they go on this new chapter of life, they're gonna face all these different challenges. And because they have each other side by side, they're gonna be able to face these. And it's because of these reasons, I know that they're gonna live happy for a long time. So I'd like everyone to raise a glass for Hannah and Pablo. Raising a daughter is hard. Raising it the way we raised our daughter was. <sighs> and this is weird enough as it is because, <laughs> because my husband-in-law <laughs> is one of my best friends. <laughs> this is how you raise a daughter. This, this is how you raise a daughter together as a family. <clears throat> if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. This is, uh, it was hard. Raising a daughter that has somehow found a man that is better than both of us. However he did, however he did it and tamed this wild beast. <laughs> however he did it, he did it, and we've got to watch it as a family. And even the, the hard times that we've had to go through, um, I could not have asked for a better person sitting in, sitting in that chair to love my daughter, to be the man that gets to be there for her the rest of their lives. Um, so thank you guys for making the effort to be here to celebrate this, the two of them. Thank you, Pablo, for bringing your amazing family into our family. We very much welcome all of you Thank you for making the trip to come here. <clears throat> and uh, I, cannot, I cannot wait to make all the memories that we're gonna make all together for the rest of our lives. So thank you guys. And we are here to celebrate the two lovebirds. I've never seen a better couple in my life. I love you guys.